Hello, I'm Shihab Rutansi in Washington. Here are the main stories brought to you by Al Jazeera. Two suspected suicide bombs have hit the Pakistani city of Karachi. At least eight people were killed and more than 60 wounded in the southern port city when the blasts detonated at a Sufi shrine packed with worshippers. Hospital officials say most of the wounded are being treated for serious injuries. Sohal Rahman has more from Islamabad. This incident will worry the security forces and the authorities who are continually trying to keep a lid on ethnic tensions and reduce the possibility of further flare-ups in the city. Now, shrines across the country, including both Karachi and Lahore, are closed as to curb any further potential attacks. Five people have been killed in a shootout in Iran's western Kurdistan province. Two gunmen opened fire on a police patrol in the region's capital, Sanandaj. Four police officers are amongst those killed. Western Iran has seen a number of deadly clashes in recent years between security forces and Kurdish rebel groups. Disaster crews in Hungary are struggling to dilute and contain the toxic red sludge that leaked from a reservoir at an alumina plant. Hungary's prime minister has called the spill an unprecedented ecological catastrophe and has appealed for international help with the cleanup. Officials from the IMF and World Bank are warning of a threat to the global economy if the conflict over China's currency isn't resolved. Speaking on the eve of its semi-annual meeting in Washington, the heads of the two organizations called for cooperation between the U.S. and China to avoid turning off investors and sparking inflation. Commonwealth Games officials in New Delhi are insisting there's nothing wrong with the water in a warm-up pool after about 50 Australian and British swimmers fell ill. Games organizers are struggling to attract spectators, meanwhile, due to high ticket prices and concerns over security. And Peruvian writer Mario Vargas Llosa has won this year's Nobel Prize for Literature. The 74-year-old has written more than 30 novels and plays, including Conversation in the Cathedral and The Greenhouse. The Nobel Committee says it awarded Llosa the prize in, quote, recognition of Latin American literature. And those are the top stories. You can always keep up to date with the news on our website, aljazeera.net forward slash English.